Hey guys, welcome back to this week's edition of New Makeup Sunday. I have so many great things to share with you this week, including a new palette from BH Cosmetics. I have a new palette from an indie brand called Milan Row that is really, really beautiful. Some new skincare from Good Molecules that's super affordable. I also have some giveaways this week, so check down in the description box below. Also, be sure to watch the video all the way through so that you can find out what the giveaways actually are because I show them at different points as I'm opening things up. So you're not gonna wanna miss that. And also I've been getting a lot of questions about past giveaways and whether or not I've announced winners and I don't normally announce them on my videos just in case those people aren't really watching so I just um, let the raffle copter randomly select a winner and then it gives me their email address and I just email them directly so if you won then you'll get an email from me if you didn't then hopefully you'll win next time around so anyway let's go ahead and cut to the video and I'll see you guys back here at the end Hey guys, it's Monday. I just got a package from Peter Thomas Roth over the weekend for a sponsored Instagram post I'm going to be doing for them, um, I believe in early June. So this is the Lashes to Die For Turbo Conditioning Lash Enhancer. So um, here's the before and after results. This is basically what I'm going to be doing for my posts on Instagram. I'm going to be trying this out every single night for the next several weeks and then showing a before and after what my lashes look like. So I'm really, really excited. Um, this one actually you apply to your lash line kind of similar to something like Rapid Lash. And then it also has a mascara type wand where you apply the product actually to your lashes themselves. And it says it has an 11% peptide complex, 10% conditioning complex, biotin and vitamins, and Tahitian plankton extract. So I did show the um, L'Oreal version that just came in last week in my Sunday haul, and a lot of you guys were saying that it has denatured alcohol near the top of the ingredient list. I didn't even notice that at first, but yeah, that's a little bit concerning because that can be super drying. So I wanted to show you the ingredients on this one really quick in case you're interested. So if you want to check these out, go ahead and just pause the video. So anyway, guys, I will definitely keep you updated. If you want to see a video on this, in addition to my Instagram post that's going to be coming out, let me know. I can always do a video. That's not going to actually be sponsored, just the Instagram post is. So if you'd like to see a full video, let me know. Otherwise, you can check that out over on Instagram. Should be in early June. Good morning, guys. It's Thursday, and I just got my order from Beautylish. I had ordered some of their Good Molecules skincare, and this is a skincare line that is supposed to be kind of like the ordinary. It's really super affordable, and each product focuses on one main ingredient. But from the reviews that I've seen, I guess these supposedly have a better texture than a lot of the ordinary products. Some of those can be a little sticky, and these are not supposed to be sticky at all. So very excited about that. I'm not quite sure what this is. I think maybe they gave me a sample. I've never ordered from Beautylish before, so this is my first time, but I have to say, um, I think I spent $42 on these products, and they sent it like one day shipping. It was literally here the next day, and it was free, by the way. So this says um, Bioderma Hydra Bio, formulated for dehydrated skin. Well, that would be me. I don't think I've ever tried anything from Bioderma before. So this says, okay, it's a micellar water. Yeah, I've never tried this, even though I hear great things about it. And this is actually a really decent sample size. That is so cool. Very awesome. So I'm impressed with this company so far. Also, look at the way they package this. It's really nice. The box it comes in is super sturdy. Just really nice touches all the way around. All right, let me just open this up. Okay, so I got a bunch of different things to try. The first one is the Super Peptide Serum. This has tripeptides to target fine lines, wrinkles, and dullness. Um, so I'm just going to show you guys the ingredients here in case you want to pause the video and take a look. This one has the hexapeptide 8, the octopeptide 3, and the copper tripeptide 1. So those are supposed to target fine lines and wrinkles. So this one just comes in a nice frosted glass dropper bottle. I just really want to see what the texture is like on these. I haven't tried too many products from The Ordinary, but the ones that I have tried, yeah, I did feel like they were a little bit sticky. Oh, this one feels super nice. It really is like a watery, light texture that just soaks right in. It's very silky feeling too. It doesn't have that stickiness. So that's awesome. All right, and I'll show you what else. Um, the next product I got is the Daily Brightening Serum. This has beta arbutin and hyaluronic acid to gently brighten the skin tone. So here's a look at the ingredient label. 
and let's take a look. I'm guessing these all come in, yeah, they all come in the same type of bottle, but I can just go ahead and see what the texture's like on this one. Oops, I don't think I grabbed any. Here we go. This one is just slightly thicker, but again, feels very, very silky and smooth, so that's a good thing. And then next up is the niacinamide serum, and this one is formulated with 10% niacinamide, so it's similar, I think, to the Paula's Choice Booster. I used to use that one. It was just a little bit on the expensive side, and that one was great because you could just drop it into any other skincare products, and this seems like it's really similar, but it's so much cheaper. And niacinamide is a B vitamin that is pretty much amazing for all skin types. It helps with acne. It also helps with um, pore size. It's supposed to help fine lines and wrinkles. It's kind of an all-in-one type ingredient that I'm very excited about. It does take a little while to see results, at least a month, but I had great results when I was using the Paula's Choice one, and this one feels really, really nice. Very similar to that one, actually. So I'm definitely excited to start using it again. It does have a lot of the same results that you can get with like a vitamin C, but this one is way more of a stable ingredient. It's not going to break down over time like vitamin C does, so very good one to have. The next one is the Discoloration Correcting Serum. This is um, supposed to promote an even skin tone, and I'll just show you the ingredients here. So uh, let's see. I mean, all of these really feel the same. I don't know why I'm putting them all on, but... <laughs> But I just want to see if any of them end up being sticky. I mean, they're not. My hand feels really soft and smooth, but definitely not sticky at all. So let's just put this one over here. Yeah, they all have just a really, really nice texture. Very impressed with at least how they feel so far. And then the last one is the Overnight Exfoliating Treatment. This has 10% alpha hydroxy and beta hydroxy acid to resurface and renew. So alpha hydroxy acids um, work on the top layer of your skin and kind of smooth that out, get rid of those flakes. Beta hydroxy acids go deep down into your pores and clean those out. So it's kind of like a one-two punch. This one has glycolic acid. It has um, lactic acid, which is a little bit more gentle. It also has a little bit further down the beta hydroxy. I saw it somewhere. Oh, salicylic acid right here. And I'm really hoping that this one doesn't cause irritation. I can use the Pixie 5% glycolic, but the ordinary 7% is a little bit too strong for me. And this 10% is not just the glycolic, like 10% glycolic. 10% lactic. It's not like that. It's 10% total. So I don't know what the exact concentration of the glycolic acid is, but it's a little stronger than the lactic acid, which is a little more gentle, and my skin receives lactic acid a little bit better than the glycolic, but I'm just hoping that it's not super strong. This feels really nice on my skin. It's making my arm feel really soft. I don't feel any tingling or burning or anything, so so far so good, but the skin on my body is a little bit tougher than the skin on my face, so we're just gonna have to uh, see how it goes. But anyway, that's everything I got from Good Molecules, and my plan is to go ahead and start using these today, and then um, for the next 30 days, I'm only going to use these serums, and then my basic cleanser and just a basic moisturizer that doesn't have anti-aging ingredients in it. I'm going to take a before picture today, and then I'm going to take an after picture after 30 days, and we're going to see how this all works. Because to get five anti-aging serums for $42, it's super, super affordable. I'm really curious to see if these can stack up to the more expensive ones that I've been using. I've been using ones over $100 just for one serum. So um, I will definitely keep you guys posted and look forward to that video coming up in the middle of June sometime. I also just got mail from Tarte and they sent over their brand new Exterior Glam Lash Kits. So there's two different versions. They're $16 and they come with their formaldehyde free lash glue in clear. So they're available now at Sephora and also on their website. So let's take a quick look. These are vegan and cruelty free lashes and this version is the Ultra Wispy and Dramatic Falsies. So these are called 0 to 100. And then this next one says that they're flirty and fluttery falsies to add instant fullness. And then they also sent over their TARDIS mascara, which I love. This is such a great one. And the TARDIS liner. And then their lash curler as well. So I'm super excited and thankful to Tarte for sending this over. I don't normally wear false lashes on a daily basis, but on occasion I'll wear them. So it's nice to have these on hand and they look really, really beautiful. 
I also got a package from C Color Cosmetics and they sent over their new cherry eyeshadow palette and I'm sure as you guys can guess this is a dupe for the Urban Decay Naked Cherry. This one is $10.50 plus I do have a coupon code to save you 10% so I'll put that up on the screen in case you're interested um, but let's take a look inside. I mean the packaging looks almost identical to the Urban Decay. And this one also has a little bit of a cherry scent to it, so it's just a little something extra that the Naked palette doesn't have. So I thought what I would do is just um, put these side by side, we'll take a look, and then we can swatch a few shades side by side and see how it stacks up. I've really had great luck with the C Color palettes overall, so I have a feeling this one is going to be good too. Alright, so let me just zoom you guys in really quick so you can see them side by side. I mean, just looking at them in the pan, they look virtually identical. So let's go ahead now and do some comparison swatches. All right, so first we have Bang Bang from Urban Decay. And then this is the same shade in the C-Color palette. I actually think the C-Color one went on a little bit smoother. This is Turn On from Urban Decay. And then this is the C-Color version. Again, they're not identical, kind of like these, but very, very close in color. Then we have Ambitious from the Urban Decay palette, and this is the C color one. I mean, these are swatching almost identical. The first one, I think definitely the C color one went on a little bit better. This one was a little more crumbly, but the rest of them are very, very close in texture. All right, and then let's do a couple mattes. This is the shade Juicy from Urban Decay. And then this is the C color one. These swatch really nice for a matte and really both of them did really well. Not identical colors, but super close. I think once they're blended out on the eyes, they'll look the same. And then we'll do one more. This is the shade Bing from Urban Decay. And then this is the C color version. I mean, for the cost of this palette, this is swatching incredibly. So very, very impressed at least swatch wise. Um, if you guys want to see me do a video comparing these two on my eyes, definitely let me know down in the comments below and I can do that. Good morning guys, it's Saturday. I just got a box from Zoeva and they sent over their brand new Coral Shine brush set. This is brand new. It's going to be launching on May 20th on their website and May 27th at their retail locations over in Europe and Asia. This is a nine piece face and eye makeup brush set. Comes complete with a matching clutch coated in the warm and nourishing coral hue. The brush set provides an uplifting and optimistic feeling to every beauty lover. And as we know, coral is the um, Pantone color of the year. So I really love the clutch that this comes in. It's pretty large. And even if you don't take the brushes in it, I could use this just for makeup travel sometimes when I just want to throw a few pieces of makeup in a bag if I'm going somewhere for the weekend. Um, so that's really cool. And then in here you get face brushes. So you have um, like the slanted flat top foundation blending brush um, they also give you this one's for um, like cream contour and highlight products this one is a flat blender for face products as well you can use it for powder or foundation and also liquids um, and then there's a concealer blending brush here which is really really nice I think their brushes are such good quality and then we have what's this one this one is a soft definer for the eyes um, also, you have the mini fan brush, which is awesome for highlighting. Um, this one is a wing liner brush, actually, which I've never tried applying wing liner with a brush like this, but I can totally see how that would work. Um, and then this one is the precision smudger, so that smudges eyeshadow along the lash line. And then this last one is a brow brush. So anyway, this is just a really nice range of brushes for face and eye, and I love this color so much. Um, I'm not sure I'm pricing yet, but normally Zoeva's brush sets are about like $7 a brush, and there's nine in here, so I'm going to probably guess that this will be somewhere between $60 and $70, but I'm not 100% sure since it's not out yet. I can definitely update the video if you're watching this after May 20th, but anyway, just wanted to show this to you. I thought it was so pretty. So I also just got my BH Cosmetics order in the mail, and this took forever. Is it just me, or is BH really kind of inconsistent with their shipping? Because sometimes I order from them, and it comes in like two days. And then in this case, I ordered this palette when it came out. I want to say it was like three weeks ago now, and it just showed up. So kind of a long process for something that's shipping from the U.S. I don't know why it took them so long, but anyway, glad to have it now. And then um, they also sent this Royal Affair brush set for free, which I already own, so 
So I'm going to be putting this in a giveaway and I'm going to pair it with some other things just because I'd rather make it a little bit of a bigger giveaway. So um, stay tuned towards the end of the video. I'll show everything that's going to be within this giveaway, but this is definitely going to be part of it. So um, let's go ahead and swatch this palette. And I definitely like the packaging. It shows the desert. It's just really, really beautiful. Um, and then inside, I don't know, some people really weren't a fan of this layout. I happen to like it because it's very symmetrical, at least. I know, you know, sometimes when they mess with pan sizes and it looks kind of off balance, I'm not a fan of that. But this, I think, just looks really, really cool. And I think that the pan sizes are large enough for sure to get either a finger or your brush in. Because the palette is so big, I wasn't sure about that. I was thinking the palette was going to be smaller and that these might be a little too skinny, but I can easily like get a finger in any of these. So that's perfectly fine. And it is very Santa Fe inspired for sure. You have all these warm tones plus the pop of turquoise. But I also feel like this is something that we saw a lot last summer, like the warm tone palettes with the turquoise. So it's nothing new or groundbreaking. I'm sure we all probably have these colors in our collection already. But I think the selling point with this is probably just that they're so many shades in here those palettes I was talking about from last summer were more small palettes like the Urban Decay Beached one or the Tarte Be a Mermaid one they were a little bit smaller this one you're getting 20 shades and it's really affordable because it's BH plus I feel like their quality has been amazing the last couple of palettes so um, all right let's go ahead and just do some swatching and see what this one's like Okay, so shimmer shade swatched beautifully. The mattes didn't swatch as well, um, but that's still no indication of how they're going to perform on the eyes. Again, I think overall there's a couple of unique shades, but for the most part, this is all colors that we mostly have in our collection already. It's nothing super unique. So while I do like the theme of the palette and I think it's really cute, um, you know, just looking at the colors right here, I'm sure you guys have all of these already. I also got a box from a brand called Milan Row, and if you might remember, they sent me some liquid lipsticks a few weeks back, and they were really, really nice. They just released a brand new eyeshadow palette called Iconic Couture, and this is what it looks like inside, so it looks really beautiful, and this is their first eyeshadow palette, so I'm not sure what to expect in terms of the formulation, but we're definitely going to go ahead and do some swatches. So here is what the outside looks like. Really, really pretty packaging. Here's the ingredient label on the back. This is actually made in the USA too, so that's great. And then inside, here's all the shades. There are 12 shades, and I love how this is broken up. You have your warm tones over here, and then a bunch of cool tones over there. So um, let's go ahead and do some swatches. Okay, so this one here is this shade, and it seems like it's kind of like a topper. It's a little bit more sheer than the others that I just swatched. So it's a really gorgeous shade, but um, it is a little bit more on the sheer side. And then this one is also the exact same way. So um, there's a couple different textures in this palette. So now go ahead and swatch all of the mattes, plus there's one satin shade as well. Okay, so this green is kind of more of a satiny shade, and then we have a few mattes on the cool tone side. These had no fallout when I picked them up at all. They're very um, firmly pressed into the pan. There's no chunkiness, there's no powderiness, they're just very smooth. And then here's a few mattes from the warmer tone side. So the mattes kind of seem like they're swatching a little bit sheer. I don't know if they can be um, built up easily, but I can actually try that out. So we'll just go back over these and see how they build up. I mean, they're so smooth. The formula feels like it's really nice. So, um, you know, 
swatching is no indication of how it's going to apply to the eyes. So um, I definitely have to just test this out. If you guys would like to see a video on this or some looks with it, definitely let me know down below. Milan Rowe also sent me an additional palette, so I'm not even going to open this. I'm going to go ahead and do a giveaway with it. So um, the link for the giveaway will be down in the description box below and good luck to everybody. I also got my Sephora order in the mail and this is what happens when you go on your phone when you're supposed to be in bed and you're looking at the Sephora website. Um, new things just kind of find their way into my cart. Um, so this is the new Wasso brand from Shiseido and um, this is the product that initially drew me to it. It's the Color Smart Day Moisturizer Broad Spectrum SPF 30 Sunscreen and it says it's a skin brightening day moisturizer with whole carrot cells, adeptly changes color to enhance your skin tone for long lasting hydration and healthy looking glow and a lot of the reviews were saying that it had a little bit of coverage like a BB cream which I thought was cool because on some days like my no makeup days I could maybe just wear this and then it's my SPF as well um, so let's go ahead and just try to swatch this I'm curious to see what the color is like because I believe it's just a one size fits all kind of a color um, packaging is really cute So I guess this is kind of like those Alme Smart Shade things where you start rubbing it in and then it just changes color. Whoa, it looks really, really pink right now, like an unnatural shade of pink. <laughs> okay, it's starting to turn kind of into a tan color. A lot of people on the reviews said that um, it really did seem to adjust to their own natural skin tones, so we'll see. Yeah, I mean, it really did blend in nicely and um, even out my skin tone. It's not going to cover a ton of stuff, but it definitely looks nice. Um, let me just see, actually, because I'm smelling a little bit of sunscreen. For some reason, I thought this was just titanium dioxide. Oh, no. It also has octanoxate as well um, in a higher concentration. That's going to be a problem because for some reason I found myself allergic to chemical sunscreens when we were in Florida. I used the Neutrogena Sheer Touch sunscreen all over and I broke out in a horrible horrible rash so did my son um, so I really can only use mineral sunscreens from now on I don't think I want to take the chance with this on my face um, that's a bummer I thought it only had titanium dioxide I guess again it was late at night I wasn't reading the website too carefully Next up, we have the Quick Gentle Cleanser, and this one says, A heavenly refreshing cleanser with honey and royal jelly from bees. The honey-like gel foams without water to remove makeup and impurities um, without stripping essential moisture. Massage over face to blend with makeup and impurities. Remove with water. An eye makeup remover can be used for heavier eye makeup. Um, so let's just take a look at the ingredients really quick. Um, it says water and what? Sodium lorith sulfate. That is not good, actually. I'm very surprised that Shiseido, which is more of a high-end skincare line, would use a surfactant like that as the second ingredient in a cleanser or the fact that it's in here at all. That's a detergent that's normally found in shampoos, and it will completely strip the moisture barrier of your skin. Um, let's see what else... Yeah, I mean, the honey and the royal jelly is like all the way down here, the last few ingredients, which means there's hardly any of that in the formula. But yet in the description, they were talking about that, like it was making me think that this was pretty much what it was made out of. So um, unfortunately, I'm not even going to open this up. I mean, this is what it looks like. It's got really cute packaging, but um, I don't want to open everything up and return it. I feel really bad. Um, so I definitely, I think I'm going to return that just because like I said, I don't want to take a chance on my face with the sunscreen, but I don't want to even use this if it has sodium lorith sulfate in it. Um, I have really dry skin as it is, so I can't afford to strip my skin barrier anymore. So that's definitely going to go back. And then the third product I got is the beauty sleeping mask. And this one says, an intensive gel moisture wrap made with yuzu citrus replenishes your skin by night, restoring radiance and hydration even after too little sleep, using the last step of your skincare routine. So before I open this, I'm just going to look at the ingredients because, um, let's see, water, dipropylene glycol, glycerin, alcohol, then um, this really long chemical name, I don't know how to say that, dimethicone, candelia wax, um, more chemical names, perfume, talc, <laughs> um, 
Yeah, just lots and lots of long names I can't pronounce. Um, safflower seed oil down here. I mean, iron oxide, citric acid. It's really like there's nothing standing out to me as really good beneficial ingredients. I mean, maybe some of these long chemical names are beneficial for the skin, but I don't know what they are. To be honest, I'm like a little disappointed, especially with, um, you know, what they put in this cleanser. So I don't know. I'm not seeing anything jumping out at me like, yes i need this in my life so i think without opening this i'm going to just return this as well but i'll just show you quickly what the packaging looks like it's really cute um but i just i'm a little confused by this line because i've always found shiseido's products to be really good but i kind of just feel like they're using cheaper ingredients in here and i'm not really sure why because they're supposed to be like i said more of a higher end line and companies that are charging much much less for skincare like the ordinary like the good molecules we saw earlier in the video um they're charging a lot less and using better stuff so i don't know i'm just really disappointed and this is all going to go back okay and then as promised i'm going to give away some things along with the royal affair brush set so i just went through my stash of products that you know i got sent in pr that i have already that i can't use so um the first other product in the giveaway is going to be the perfusion mats palette i did a video on these little 10 pan palettes last week and they're amazing they're such a good formula, so this is going to be included. Also some of Profusion's Lips to Go kits. So this one is Charm. This one is Secret, which is kind of like a little more of a pinky nude. And then this one is Passion, which is more reds. And each one comes with a matte liquid lipstick, a lip liner, and then a glitter topper. And then um, also I have a new tube of the Lash Domination Mascara from Bare Minerals, so that's going to be in there. Um, and then two Profusion Mixed Metals kits. This one is Gold Sparkle, so you get a palette, a glitter liner, and then a brush. And this one's a little bit more warm toned. And then this one's more cool toned. This one is Silver Sparkle. So you can see like close up what that one looks like. And I also have some products from Tarte that they had sent me that I already have. So um, I figured I would give these away as well. This is the Hotel Eris bronzer. I think this is the deeper shade of their bronzer. Um, the Park Avenue Princess is the lighter one. And then this is their Sweet Tarte Rollerball Fragrance. And one of their Color Splash lipsticks, which I love, and this is one of my favorite colors, Siesta, but I already have it, so um, this will go to you. And then the Make Magic Happen palette. I can open it up and show you what it looks like really quick. So it's this one. I'm not going to take the plastic sheet off, but it's just a nice neutral kind of everyday palette. So that'll be the whole giveaway, and the link will be down in the description box below. Hey guys, just got back from Walmart and picked up a couple of new products. The first one is from the brand Found. This is their new pore primer. It says it minimizes the look of pores for a soft focus effect with bamboo and the formula is 92% natural. Um, this says a silky lightweight face primer that blurs the look of pores for a soft focus effect formulated with bamboo powder. This primer provides seamless coverage to minimize the look of pores and imperfections, creating a velvety smooth canvas ideal for makeup application. So here's a look at the ingredient label right here. All right, so let's put a little on my hand, see what it's like. So it definitely has more of a creamy feel to it. It's not um, one of those matte primers that feels kind of powdery or dry. It actually feels kind of hydrating going on, which surprises me. But it also does seem to be smoothing out the skin on my hand as well. I mean, looking at the two together, definitely did something. My hand feels really soft and silky. And actually, now that it's absorbing, it doesn't feel um, as hydrating anymore. Like, I thought this wasn't going to dry down, but it actually is drying down very, very nicely. Yeah, it just is leaving my skin feeling really velvety and very smooth. So, um, yeah, I like what this did for my hand so far. We'll have to see how it applies to my face. Um, I also got another primer from them. This is also new. This is the 24 karat gold primer with hyaluronic acid. This one's 98% natural. And this one says it's a lightweight serum-like primer that hydrates and preps the skin for makeup application formulated with 24 karat gold flake to add radiance and hyaluronic acid to lock in moisture. This primer leaves skin soft, smooth, and dewy. So it kind of reminded me of that YSL primer that has the gold flakes in it. Um, so I was wondering if this might be like a dupe for that. Let's see. 
I do have that one, so I know what it feels like. And yeah, this one, I mean, it feels similar for sure. It has kind of more of a jelly-like texture to it, and it feels very hydrating. It has that sort of sensation like um, the Neutrogena Hydro Boost Foundation, where it feels like it's kind of a drink of water on my skin. It just feels very refreshing, almost like a little cooling really, really moisturizing. So that feels really nice. I think that's going to be good on my dry skin days. Plus I love that it's 98% natural. That's really cool. And then I also got two lip products from Found. This one is their exfoliating lip scrub, which isn't new, but it says that it's one of their favorites. So I decided to try it out. And also this nourishing lip mask with honey. This one's 99% natural. It says it's an intensive moisturizing treatment to revitalize lips formulated with honey that locks in essential moisture, leaving lips soft and supple. So I was just curious to see what the texture is like. I love lip masks. And if I could find a really affordable dupe for my... Um, Bite Beauty one, that would be amazing. <laughs> so let's see. Oh, this is super thick, just like the Bite one. I think I squeezed out too much, but yeah, this, I mean, in texture, it feels just like the Bite Agave Lip Mask. Now, whether it moisturizes as well remains to be seen, but I'm going to have to definitely test this out at night. Let me see what it smells like. Mm, it has a really, really like sweet vanilla scent. Oh, that smells really good. And this one is not petroleum based either. It has um, castor seed oil as the first ingredient. It also has beeswax, just in case you're vegan. I want you to know that. Um, candelia wax. It has coconut oil, honey extract, jojoba seed oil. So it is 99% natural. I really love that about it. And then what is this lip scrub like? I'm so curious. So it has a slanted applicator tip here. It has these little black beads in here. I'm not sure what those are, but um, ooh, it feels like a really nice gritty scrub. It definitely feels like it's probably sugar-based. These almost look like poppy seeds. I wonder if they are. <laughs> There's no ingredients on here, unfortunately, so I can't tell you. I don't know. I'm going to have to see if maybe the ingredients are online and put a few of them up on the screen so that you can see what this one's made out of. But like most of their products, I'm sure it's 90 something percent natural. So anyway, this seems like it's going to be a really nice scrub. So I'll let you guys know. And then last but not least, I got two products from Flower Beauty that are new. This is their Heat Wave Luminous Bronzer. They had two different shades. This one looked more cool toned. The other one was definitely way too warm for me. This one's called Sunrise L1, and it says sun-kissed skin with a luminous finish. Enhance your glow with Heat Wave Bronzer. Our marbleized formula blends effortlessly for a warm, luminous look. Matte and shimmer powders swirl together to form a lit from within ambient glow. Okay, so let's see what this is like. I love baked powders in general. I think especially for the face, they're just so smooth and soft. So let's see what the color's like. This is a gorgeous color for me. This is so pretty. It's not super cool toned like a contour, but it's definitely not warm. It's like a really light neutral bronzer. And I don't know if you can see like the level of glow that's in here, but it's very, very um, light and natural. It's not sparkly. It's not shimmery at all. It just leaves a nice like sheen to my skin. This is beautiful. Why have I not heard anything about these at all? I don't even know if it's new, but it was new to my Walmart at least. I hadn't seen these before. So I'm really excited about this. This is so pretty. And also from Flower, I just grabbed one of their brushes. They seem to have some new brushes, and this is the blush brush, and I loved how it's a little bit smaller. Some of my blush brushes are huge, and sometimes I just want to be able to place my blush like exactly where I want it. My really big fluffy brushes are nice, but they just kind of put it all over my cheeks, and sometimes I just want to add like a little bit. So I just thought the size on this one was really nice, and it feels super soft as well. I love how it's tapered. So anyway, that's that one. So anyway, guys, that's my Walmart haul. And let me know down in the comments what you're interested in seeing. If you want to see more from the brand Found Beauty, I could also grab some more products as well. I already have some of them, but if you're interested in seeing a review on those, let me know down below. All right, guys, so that does it for this week's edition of New Makeup Sunday. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to hit that thumbs up button. Also, let me know down in the comments below what piqued your interest this week and what you would love to see reviews on going forward. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you already haven't, and I will see you in my next video. Bye.